All right, guys, I can't believe it, but it is done. What do we have? Eight days into this? Nine days? Ten. Ten. Ten days into this build. Um, we had to stretch it out here and there. CJ's here. As you've seen him, huge, huge part of this build. I couldn't have done it without him. He could have probably done it without me, but I couldn't have done it without him. But we're going to walk you through and show you everything that we've done to this boat. It's a totally different boat now. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, where do you want to start? Let's start up front and show them. If there's anything I missed, CJ, just holler. I know you don't, you don't like talking too much on the camera, so I'll do most of the talking. But <laughs> right up at the front, we got the Garmin Force 100 pound thrust. Best trolling motor on the market from what I hear. Uh, it's the first brushless motor, trolling motor I've ever owned. So we got that on the front and that's hooked up to two 36 volt 50 amp hour lithium batteries in the back we'll show you those but on this first we can't miss this is a 34 lvs 34 this is the 62 transducer so we have perspective mode forward mode and we're going to be reading those off the the beat down flex mount right here we have a we have a 106 SV, SV Garmin Eco Map, and above it, we got the 126 Ultra Eco Map Ultra 2, the brand new Garmin there. Um, we got a recess pedal, we got the pedal there, we got power pole stomps here. We got all new wiring up front. We took out the old panel here and redid this. We built a new panel here, so we have our tilt and trim um, right there. I'll lift that up. We have nav lights there. We have a blue light up front. Trolling motor plug goes there. And we have an outlet for our USB stuff there. Going from there, the only hiccup we had that was really bad on the boat was the hole for the pedestal seat was broken in the other one. So we just did a workaround and added a new plate. So we got a new plate there, new pedestal, new leaning seat right there. All that I think came from Bass Pro all brand new carpet on this baby looks absolutely great one of my favorite parts of this are the new windshields that we blacked out you'll see that in the series too we got the triton logos on those um in this box we kind of have to show them in this box don't we yeah oh they're tight because of the new carpet oh uh, give it a little yank the new carpet's pretty thick so we got to get that worn down but in there we have three gls 10s that's all the wiring. We're gonna tighten it up even a little bit more, but it's the wiring is awesome in this boat. Thanks to CJ, he's really particular on the wiring. Um, then let's go back to the helm. So back here, I did the gel coat repair there. This looked terrible, but we have my old 93 SV there. We have the 1022 here. And then from there, we're gonna show you another beat down mount. And let's show them this baby. Oh, which way is that going? <coughs> yeah, there you go. Like that. So that's the beat down mount. I'm going to slide it forward here. And that's another live scope with a 34 that's going to be hooked to the 1022. And this is for looking around. And then this mount can, it can lock up or down when you're using it. You could pop it in or out. Um, yep, oh, there, and it's locked down so you could look around as you're driving or if you're fishing off the back. We did all new switch covers right here. We added a another USB port. We added a power pole switch over there. All new covers on those. We put a new gas gauge on there. We got all our gauges there. Steering wheel. Oh, brand new steering wheel. Yeah, I almost forgot that. We got all new seats. We redid the panel to get into the fuel sending unit. We cleaned the gas tank, cleaned under the gas tank, all around that. We <laughs> carpeted the back deck. We got those two funny looking things on there. We got some more power poles on there. And in the hatch, in the back hatch here, we got, what do we got in here? So we have the power pole charge system over there. We have two 36 volt bio NO batteries right there to run the trolling motor. We got just a house battery there. No big deal on that thing. We've completely redone the gel coat all around the boat. And then over here, we got a new glove box lid. It's the same lid. I just redid it. It had that old wood look. We got an entire new dash system to mount these super clean. Get them mounted right here. Bass Boat Technologies is by far the best one. Perfect, perfect fit on, on that helm, on that dashboard. And then over here, we have one battery running all the electronics. 
it, there it is. It's a BioNO power, 12 volt, 200 amp power, 200 amp power. So that's gonna run all four of these units, <coughs> hopefully for as long as we need it for. We got Triton stickers on the seats, got them on the steering wheel, got them on the dashboard. Um, am I missing anything? I don't know. I think you're both gonna cover, except for the hours and hours and hours of labor <laughs> hours and hours and hours of labor it was out oh these i forgot these two i got uh blue led lights in here i got them under the consoles too we kind of went pimped it out <laughs> we're probably gonna add one or two more things to the boat down the road that got to be fabricated like a coin box and something else but hours and hours into a labor of love there's no grass growing on it now. There's no <laughs> animals crawling around in it, no sludge or slime. Uh, got all the mice cleaned out of it. Got all the wiring redone. Um, super, super clean on the wiring. CJ does an amazing job with that. So the one thing we haven't done is tested the motor. We, uh, we changed out the lower unit oil and haven't tested the motor. So this is gonna be our first ride. You guys are gonna come along. Oh, get that thing off there. We're gonna, oh, I got a GT56 transducer on the back right there for side scan. And you guys come along. You're gonna, we're gonna see if this thing one floats and two can even get up on plane. We don't know, we're gonna find out. Dude, I'm so pumped up. See if any water comes out. Imagine if we had this when we were kids. Better yet, we got it when we're 40. enough. I am so pumped. I'm so happy with how this came out. I mean, I've had bass boats worth twice as much as this thing, but 
that I'm proud of this, like all the work we put into it. Bringing one back from the dead like that just really makes me happy. And I can't wait to catch a fish off it now. I don't know what the first fish is going to be, but I got a feeling he's going to get his eyeballs crossed and his lips ripped. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So yes, we just, we shut off all the power to the units right here. And then I got all the covers right there and we're good to go. The only other thing I didn't show the folks at home are my running lights up front. So, oh yeah. Are they on? Yep. Yep. So those are the running lights. Red LED, green LED. So we didn't we didn't put it down running, which probably cost us a couple miles an hour, but that's not a big deal. Um, we don't really worry too much about that. But as far as going down the road or in, in the waves or big big water, we got legs on it right here that my buddy Kenny welded for me, and we fabricated. Now that thing's on there solid. The units aren't bouncing. They're not hitting against the the floor, and they're not beating up my pedal or my boat either. It's just two legs in there like that. So far, it seems pretty solid. Yeah, I'm, I'm really liking it. I watched it when we hit the wake, and it didn't even hardly move. No. Well, and I think I'll get in the habit of just unplugging that. Yep. Just so I don't hit it by accident, even though it can't touch. Uh, I got a little dirt from my shoe on it. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I think this goes up in here, which I might cut some of that pole off. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed this whole project and this build as much as I did and as much as CJ did. We we got a lot of effort into this, a lot of pride into it, and it was a lot of fun. And if you guys ever have any questions or want to do one yourself, feel free. We have we have a lot of contacts, and we learned a lot during this too. This isn't something that, that we've done before is restoring old bass boats. This thing's 23 years old now, and it probably didn't even look a year old going down the lake. One thing we agreed on, that if we was to do the same boat again, we could do it in half the time. <laughs> I think a quarter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was a, a big learning process for both of us, which was awesome. A lot of figuring things out, yep. figuring out easier ways to do it. Yep. Where to get stuff, everything. But it was awesome. Yeah. I, I think we could do it, you know, yeah, probably a quarter of the time. <laughs> but it was awesome. Yeah. Sweet. Thanks.